Ever wonder about the fate of those worn-out tires after they've been replaced? Let's talk about it. Each year the world produces over 1 billion tires. That's billion with a B. And guess what? They don't just disappear after they've served their purpose. No, they become a part of the monumental issue we call tire waste. Tire waste is a global problem, a mountain that just keeps growing. These discarded tires, stacked to the sky, create more than just an eyesore. They're a breeding ground for disease, a fire hazard, and a significant contributor to pollution. They leach toxic chemicals into our soil, our waterways, and our air. And let's not forget the waste management challenge they pose. With their durability and non-biodegradable nature, tires are notoriously difficult to dispose of, creating a strain on our waste management systems. Unsettling, isn't it? But what if there's a solution that could turn this environmental nightmare into a resource? Scene script. Enter waste tire pyrolysis, a process that might just change the game. Imagine having a magic box. You put inside it something you don't want anymore, say an old worn out tire. You close the lid and after a while, you open it to find valuable materials like oil, gas, and carbon black. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, the truth is this isn't a fantasy. This is the reality of waste tire pyrolysis. Now let's take a closer look. The term pyrolysis might sound a bit intimidating, but it's quite simple when you break it down. It comes from the Greek words pyro, which means fire and lysis, which means separating. So pyrolysis in essence is a process of separation by fire. In the case of waste tire pyrolysis, the fire or heat is applied to the tires in a special container or reactor. But here's the twist. This is done in the absence of oxygen. You might be wondering why, well, when you heat something in the presence of oxygen, it burns, right? But when you heat it without oxygen, it doesn't burn. Instead, it breaks down into smaller molecules. So what we're doing here is applying heat to the tires without letting them burn. And this is where the magic happens. The long chains of molecules that make up the rubber in the tires start to break down under the heat, separating into smaller, simpler molecules. This is the essence of pyrolysis. To picture this, imagine a long string of Christmas lights. If those lights represent the molecules in a tire, pyrolysis is like cutting that string into smaller sections, each with fewer lights. So we're basically cooking tires without air. But what does this process yield? You might be surprised by the answer, but that's a story for the next scene. Stay tuned. Our tire cooking process, waste tire pyrolysis, produces three main byproducts. Now let's dive a little deeper into these byproducts, gas, oil, and carbon black, and explore how they are not just waste, but valuable resources. First, let's talk about gas. During pyrolysis, a significant amount of gas is produced. This isn't just any gas. It's a blend of hydrogen, methane, ethane, and propane. Sounds familiar? Right, because these are the same components found in natural gas that many of us use to heat our homes and cook our meals. This pyrolysis gas can be captured and used as a source of heat for the pyrolysis process itself. Talk about efficiency. Next up, we have oil. The oil produced from waste tire pyrolysis is a heavy oil similar in nature to industrial diesel. It's packed with energy and can be used as a substitute for traditional fuels in many industrial applications. Imagine the tires that once zoomed you down the highway now powering industries and supporting economic growth. Finally, let's move on to carbon black. This is a black powdery substance that is a major component of the rubber in tires. When recovered through pyrolysis, carbon black can be used in numerous industries. It can be used to produce ink, paint, and even new tires. Yes, you heard it right. The life of a tire can come full circle from road to pyrolysis and back to the road again. So what we have here is a process that takes something considered waste and transforms it into valuable resources that can be used in a variety of applications. It's like alchemy but real and with a clear focus on sustainability. So we're turning waste tires into useful products but what are the benefits of this process? Well let's move on to the next scene to explore the benefits of waste tire pyrolysis. Waste tire pyrolysis isn't just about turning trash into treasure, it's also about sustainability. Now let's delve into the benefits of this process. First and foremost, waste tire pyrolysis helps in reducing environmental pollution. How, you ask? Well, the traditional disposal methods of waste tires often lead to harmful emissions and landfilling issues. Pyrolysis, on the other hand, is a closed-loop system with controlled emissions, effectively minimizing the environmental impact. 
Next, waste tire pyrolysis plays a crucial role in waste management. Every year, millions of tires are discarded worldwide, and these tires can take over a century to decompose naturally. Pyrolysis offers a sustainable solution to this problem by converting these waste tires into valuable resources. And speaking of resources, let's not forget the treasure that comes out of this trash. Waste tire pyrolysis yields three primary byproducts, pyrolysis oil, carbon black, and steel wire. Pyrolysis oil can be refined and used as a fuel substitute, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. Carbon black can be repurposed in various industries from construction to cosmetics. And who doesn't need steel, right? But the benefits of waste tire pyrolysis don't stop there. This process also promotes the concept of a circular economy. This is an economic system aimed at eliminating waste and the continual use of resources. By converting waste tires into valuable commodities, we're not just solving a waste management problem, we're creating a continuous cycle of resource usage. It's the epitome of one person's trash is another person's treasure. In essence, waste tire pyrolysis offers a comprehensive solution to a global problem. It reduces pollution, manages waste, creates valuable resources, and promotes a sustainable circular economy. So, waste tire pyrolysis is a win-win solution, but how feasible is it? The idea of waste tire pyrolysis sounds great, but can it be implemented on a large scale? You might ask. And that's a valid question, let's delve into it. Firstly, let's talk about the feasibility. The technology for waste tire pyrolysis is not just a pipe dream, it's real, and it's here. There are already functioning plants in several countries across the globe, including the United States, Germany, and Japan. These facilities are successfully converting waste tires into valuable resources and setting a precedent for the rest of the world. However, like any innovative solution, waste tire pyrolysis comes with its own set of challenges. The initial setup costs can be substantial, making it difficult for some regions to adopt this technology. Moreover, the process requires a steady supply of waste tires, which might not be readily available in all areas, but these challenges are not insurmountable. Government subsidies and private investments can help offset the setup costs. As for the supply of waste tires, well, with over 1 billion tires produced globally each year, let's just say, we're not running out of raw material anytime soon. So, what does the future hold for waste tire pyrolysis? It's looking bright, to say the least. With increasing awareness about the environmental impact of waste tires and the growing push for sustainable solutions, waste tire pyrolysis is poised to gain more traction. Moreover, advancements in technology could make the process even more efficient and cost-effective in the future. Imagine a world where every discarded tire is not a problem, but a potential source of energy or raw material. That's the future we're working towards. In conclusion, waste tire pyrolysis is not just feasible, but it's a promising solution for the global waste tire problem. It's clear that waste tire pyrolysis has the potential to revolutionize waste management and create a more sustainable world. It's up to us to support and promote this innovative solution. Now that we understand the potential of waste tire pyrolysis, what can we do? With the knowledge of this sustainable solution at your fingertips, it's time to take action. You have the power to make a difference, and it starts with spreading the word. Talk about waste tire pyrolysis with your friends, family, and colleagues. Share your insights on social media, blogs, or forums. Let the world know about this innovative method of turning waste into wealth. But don't stop there. You can support this technology in more tangible ways. Advocate for waste tire pyrolysis in your local communities. Encourage businesses to adopt this approach. Support companies that are already using this method by choosing their products or services. Remember, change begins with a single step and every step you take in support of waste tire pyrolysis brings us closer to a sustainable future. Remember, every step towards sustainability counts. Let's make waste tire pyrolysis a part of our journey towards a greener future.